Hey everybody, we're out here for a special edition of the Food and Wellness Trends Report. Today we're going to be testing out wellness beers, an emerging category amongst breweries. These beers are loaded with some electrolytes, some different salts, and they're mar kind of marketed towards the active beer drinker. So we thought we'd give it a try, have these guys take off for a little bit of a run, and tell us what they think about these new wellness beers. Set. Horrible high five, do it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so for today's review, we're trying a couple different beers. First, it's the Sufferfest FKT, fastest known time. This is a pale ale brewed with black currant. We also have Avery's Go Play IPA. They call this an activated IPA. So both of these beers kind of built off of a classic beer profile will have the added benefit of salts and electrolytes. Salt is really what makes a wellness beer a wellness beer. Some of them also have other added minerals. The idea behind that is that after you exercise, you sweat a lot, and the sodium replaces those electrolytes. And some of them have potassium, which helps with muscle soreness after your run, too. Calling them a wellness beer is what's throwing me off a little bit, that like, the go play, boom, I taste it, and it's like, oh, this is a beer. The Sufferfest, it's tasty. The more I drink it, the more I like it, but I'm not sure I necessarily think a beer beer. A lot of these beers are coming in at under 100 calories, which is quite a bit different than your standard IPA, and the calories are coming from the malt. And so when they're pulling out these calories, pulling out the malt, they kind of have to find different ways to get flavor into the beers, and so they're relying a lot more on late hop additions, dry hopping, things like that. So what I'll say is that IPA is a little bit of a stretch. Pale ale, it's kind of this fruity, light-bodied beer. It's a nice ale. It does taste good. But if I was expecting a full body robust IPA, I think this would be a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, I don't know if wellness beers are going to win over any beer lover lovers as it is, but I definitely think there's a market that might not be drinking now and wellness beers make it ex accessible to them. So what do you guys think? Is this trend worth paying attention to? I think every indication is that this is going to be a big deal. Certainly this year and probably in the future. <laughs> 